Monday, September 20th. Time is flying. I mean, honestly, it's... I really look back and I'm like, what... Where did time go? What have I accomplished this year? But, you know, I can't get in my head like that because I have made a lot of accomplishments and God has helped me overcome a lot of hurdles. All right, so today, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for my story today. For a long time, I let my mistakes, my embarrassments, my, my shame, my guilt, define who I was and I let it, I let it rule me, which led to addictions and constantly trying to fill and mask, fill the hole and mask the pain, honestly. Um, so yeah, I'm grateful for my story today because I'm no longer ashamed of it and I know that it will, it will help somebody somewhere. I'm sure of it. All right, second, I'm grateful for the wisdom I have received. Uh, you know, yesterday in church, uh, we were in, I think it was Matthew 10, and it was talking about, you know, the prices that uh, you have to pay to follow Jesus and live this life. And uh, one of the... Uh, areas it was talking about was relationships and how, you know, following Jesus and doing the right thing will cause some people to walk away. And, uh, you know, <laughs> that really stood out to me. Um, you know, I have, that has happened in my life and uh, you know I'm I'm grateful for the fact that I can look back now and recognize that and be okay with it and you know I know that more I'll probably lose more but I'm grateful for that and lastly today I'm grateful for the fact that somebody <clears throat> has enough, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not faith, but uh, confidence in me to even talk to me about a leadership position. Uh, Pastor Joe, yesterday, I finally got my tail back into church yesterday, and uh, he was telling me that CR needs some leaders, and he was encouraging me to come back to in person. And, you know, I told him about the whole COVID thing, I told him about the anxiety, and his first response was, well, what does the Bible say about it? And I drew a blank, honestly. And then, uh, you know, he was saying, uh, pretty much don't be anxious about anything and, and all things. Pray and ask God. And, uh, you know, it'll be done. There's nothing to be anxious about. So, you know, that really, that really made me feel good. 
you know, just to, to know that somebody else sees a clear change in me and, you know, would even think about having me do something like that. So, you know, I'm very, I'm very grateful and happy for that. Um, it really, <laughs> it really did something. It really registered with me. All right. Um, okay, cool. So I have been struggling with this whole podcast thing. And I have tried several times to, you know, just record it off off the top of my head you know because I'm like yeah it's my story how could I lived it how could I forget it but you know I have noticed that it's not that easy you know especially if and when I draw blanks on it and I I lose my train of thought so especially Especially in times like that. But, uh, yeah. So, back to the podcast idea. Or, no. I've been struggling here lately with some anxiety issues regarding, you know, what to do in-person service or not and you know it really it really threw me for a while there and uh you know i just keep telling myself that you know that's the devil i think back to what jose or joe said when i was working with him you know he was like the social anxiety is because you know you're supposed to talk to a lot of people and that's the devil holding you back, preventing you from doing it. So, uh, I know that. And, uh, I'm overcoming it. It was a big step. And honestly, it wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be at all. Um, it was, it was fairly easy, actually. I had nothing to be worried about. I felt good being around people. And uh, although the, the service was a little bit on the not so bright side, it was still good and it still had a good clear message. <sighs> so, you know, facing fears is the number one way that I can say works to overcome those fears. <laughs> um, so yeah. Oh, I gotta, in some ways, I have to get back to the, the basics. I have to get back to the roots that started everything and the uh, rules and stuff I was following when I first started. Um, Cause the sliding back isn't working, it's really not. So, yeah. Um, yeah, lost my train of thought. The ways that I have been trying to meet people or, you know, connect with people, which has been through stupid ass dating apps and stuff, I know isn't working. And I know also that meaningless, unfulfilling sex is something I'm not looking for either. 
even if I was presented the opportunity, I doubt that I would take it, honestly, because there would be so much conflict and alarms going off in my head saying red flag, red flag, red flag, you're messing up. I don't think I'd be able to concentrate. So, yeah, that's that. But something I keep hearing over and over again is, you know, I didn't say it would be easy. I said it would be worth it. And I have been struggling also thinking that I was 100% on my own again. But that too was also the devil trying to convince me of that. Convince me that God left me and doesn't care. But that's not true. Because he still does love me and he still does care. Um, I have to work on my uh, getting sidetracked issues. Um, I have, I broke my, my cycle of discipline with social media and stuff, being that I haven't really been working that much these past, this past month. I, uh, found myself, instead of doing something constructive, I have found myself doing things that are destructive and getting sucked into my phone for countless hours and you know I have to discipline myself again to not allow that to happen and keep telling myself that I have a job to do whether it's a physical a physical labor type job where I'm making money or it is a spiritual trying to spread the word and positivity job and actually the spiritual positivity job is the only one that counts honestly so yeah that's that uh, I found myself too worrying about my mom, but you know, I gotta, I gotta dismiss that out of my head. I gotta, I gotta get it out of there. I can't let that overrun me. After I heard about Tracy and stuff, I, I kept hearing, you know, this is your wake up call. You know, you're on your own. This is your wake up call. You gotta focus. And, uh, you know, I'm taking that stuff like that to heart. So, anyway, I started to write down the... I'm redoing the first episode. Um, actually, I think I'm going to redo all the episodes. Uh, I'm going to keep them saved on the computer. I'm not going to delete them, but I'm going to not use them. I purchased music. Um, I'm purchasing art. I made a new email potting to inspire. Um, instead of potting for inspiration because that to me sounded like I was doing it for somebody else or uh, I was doing it for myself not for somebody else and in, I mean in some ways I am doing it for myself but in other ways I'm not um, um, I, I'm actually wanting to do it to help people and to hopefully bring one person if out of everybody on the internet that listens, listens to stuff like this. If one person gets something out of it. And one person can come to any degree of faith. 
you know, I, I view that as a success. Uh, something that my Bible app told me this morning was, uh, you know, humble yourself and uh, the time, will, pretty much the time will come. That's how I took it. And uh, I'm, I'm holding on to that. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's where I'm at today. I, uh, I woke up early yesterday and it felt great. I got a lot of stuff done. Um, I made some stupid purchases though. I'm not too sure if I'm too happy with myself about it. Um, I purchased, uh, a welder from Harbor Freight. I mean, it wasn't, wasn't much, but it'll do the job for what I want it to do. But, uh, you know, I still don't, I still don't know, especially because when I went to church, it was talking a lot about, you know, worrying about earthly things when, you know, pretty much none of that stuff matters. And honestly, it really doesn't. So, but anyway, I haven't made up my mind yet whether I'm going to return it yet or not. I might, I don't know. <sighs> All right. But God, I thank you for giving me this day. I thank you for all the gifts and the wisdom that you have given me. I thank you for the price that you paid to save not only me, but the whole world from their issues, their, their bondages, their addictions, their problems. And I thank you for that. God, today I give you my mind, my body, and my soul. And I ask you to please fill me with your Holy Spirit. And in everything I do today, may you please give me the actions and the words so I can be the best representation of you as I possibly can. I don't know if <clears throat> this podcast idea and stuff is my selfish wanting or if it's <clears throat> something that you put in my heart to do. But I do trust that You'll guide me through it, and if it's something I am meant to do, you will let me know, and you will bless the situation. I thank you, God, for everything that you've given me, and every burden, weight, worry, negative thought in my head because I still do get a lot of them. I give all of that to you, Lord. And uh, I ask that you please free me from these burdens. <laughs> please watch over everybody I love and care about. Please keep us all strong. I ask and I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.